March 26 and headed off to the gym. We're rocking with Team Nike again. You know how we do Team Nike, Team Nike, Team Nike. So, about to go to the gym, hit an active rest day. And I'll speak about an active rest day after the workout. So, try to get some footage for you guys. Just finished in the gym. Now I'm headed off to the library. And I just want to speak on what I did in the workout you guys just saw. So what you guys saw was just an active rest day. So basically an active rest day is just basically that I was sore the last couple days. So instead of getting a full workout today, I just did some stuff to get my blood flowing through my body, get my body warmed up. And I just stretched, worked out my legs as you guys saw. Did some jump roping, went on the bike for a little bit. And that was really it. It was in total it took about like 30 minutes. So just something to stay in the gym, something to do, keep activity going. So the worst thing you could do when you're sore is doing nothing. Because if you just do nothing, your body's just gonna do nothing. So if you guys are feeling sore, try an active rest day. It's it's better than doing nothing. The only bad workout you do is a bad workout that doesn't happen. So that's something you guys can keep in mind. So right now, off to the library. I've been focusing a lot of time on making videos and working out, so it's time to get back on my study ground. Couldn't be here probably till like 6 o'clock, right now it's about 12, so I got a whole lot of work to do, and I'm going to edit this video too, so see you guys later. Just got to the library, and one thing I really like about this library is you could reserve these study rooms, and they're really nice, look, it's just your own quiet room, has a TV desks even has a whiteboard so yeah i could definitely make some some nice videos in here some informative videos here so i'm just gonna do some homework study learn some more of the body let's go in there and i'm gonna zone in Just finished studying, got some decent work in, did a little bit of studying, finished a couple assignments, and the library closes at six. That's mad early, right? It's ridiculous. That's that's one of the downsides about this library is it, first of all, it's closed on Saturdays, and on Sundays, it closes at six. It's ridiculous. So, about to return this stuff back to the front desk and catch you guys walking back. Walking back now back to my room it's pretty nice out right now to be honest anything over 20 degrees is considered nice out here that's the crazy thing so and if it's not windy if it's windy then it sucks but right now it's pretty nice out right now so this little view i pretty much walk across this bridge at least five times a day yeah it's pretty empty right now campus life on the weekends Pretty much dead. Yeah. Maybe I can get a cool time lapse. Yeah, I'm about to get a time lapse of this river on the side. 
so you guys will see that. Nope, never mind. No time lapse. There was a chance that my camera might fall off and break, so how about just a regular video of what it looks like? It's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. It's two sides of it. And there's this side. So yeah. I'm just gonna walk back to my room now and I'll catch you guys later. That's what happens when your TV outside is broken. Got to watch in here. We definitely go for Kentucky. Carolina definitely go for Kentucky. Peanut, I know you're watching this. Screw North Carolina. Yo, what do you think Porzingis is going to do today? What do you think Porzingis is going to do today, bro? Bro. <laughs> Again. Why you look like that? Like what? Three. How about the way this you look tired. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> so tired, bro. <laughs> you what? I'm mad tired right now, bro. Oh yeah, you're just tired, right? I feel you. We all have those days. <laughs> if you like the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe.